Ow. It's pouring out here in San Diego. Gym time. So that was a fun workout. So we started off today with a little warm up, just as always, it was a great little warm up. Shortly after we did a couple of presses on the split position and then on that same split position, we went ahead and we did squats, three on each side for, uh, for a total of six on each side. And then that was one set, um, started that all over again. That wasn't super clear whether how many presses overhead it should be. So I went ahead and I did, I believe like six presses. And then right after we had push presses, with a jerk. So it was one push press, then a jerk. One push press, then a jerk. We started off at 50%, then we went up to 60. And I think the program messed up here because you could see that the slots were, were cut out for different weights. Otherwise it just should have said six sets because it said 60%, 60%, 60%. I ended up doing was uh, what I think they were trying to say is 60%, 65%, and then 70, just like we've been doing for every other exercise. So I went ahead and did that. So if you see me go a little bit above uh, what was the percentage that was supposed to be 60%, that's why. And then right after we went just straight into jerks, then we went into 70 and then 75, which once again, it's what I think what was, was supposed to be recommended. And, and, and that one is written in right there. Shortly after we went into working on the dip 
and then the drive right after. So I wanted was the dip with the hold, and then we got we got up into the starting position once again, and then we went down to the hole once again, and then drove it up. And so we did a couple of sets of that. We started off with 50 and then moved up to 60. The body, the upper body at this point was, it was a little bit tired. So that was the bulk of the entire workout. And then right after we did a couple of what's called Korean split squats. So basically it's just jump squats, uh, jump split squats. That's how I thought about it. And then just holding a squat right at the middle for 20 seconds. So supersetting both of those, um, two sets of that, and we were done. Then right after I went ahead and I ran today, I was able to run quite a bit faster. I, like I said, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm still a little sick. And one way that you guys can go ahead and train if you are sick and you're not dying, I'm, I'm just saying, but what's something that's worked for me is to not push your pace. Again, working at that 60 to 70% max effort will work wonders for you even if you're sick and you will recover a lot quicker if you guys are pushing the boundaries all the time if you're always going and working throughout your entire workout i did this for a very long time i'm very guilty of this but if you're pushing all the time you will get injured and especially if you guys are sick if you guys are sick you're gonna screw yourself up so bad and that recovery is gonna take so much longer 5k in so tracks all around this today's my first day coming back after <coughs> being sick you can still kind of hear it but hey, uh, got my three miles in. They went pretty well. They felt really easy. So done with today's workout. Um, learn from somebody else's experience. Hopefully you guys learn from mine. Uh, don't do that. Don't push yourself. That's the one way I found that I can actually work out through these and still be able to survive 60 to 70% max. That was the max push today. And so I only did three miles. I From four miles, we went to three miles. Um, 3.1, that way it's a 5K, you know, because metric and the other systems, yeah. <laughs> so we went ahead and we did that 5K or 3.1 miles. And every single one of those miles was like about nine minute miles. So that was, that was around the time. And it felt great. It felt super easy, especially since I've taken like a couple of days off, like two days off to go ahead and recover that really helped out you know we trained on friday um saturday yesterday we weren't able to do anything because you know it was bad um and then sunday we today <laughs> or sunday is today <laughs> yeah that's how bad it is uh i'm barely kind of getting back into it and it's feeling good it's feeling better we're not 100 percent yet we're like around 80 but i'm not gonna go ahead and push it so today that's the entire workout. If you guys are planning on working out, make sure you guys take your electrolytes. I packed my electrolytes right before. I did take my Gorilla Mode Nitrix. It really helps out. I took two scoops of that. And remember, that has my creatine. That has everything, you know, that I need for my workout. And I also take my Omegas, my Vitamin D3, 50,000 I use, especially right now since it's winter. We're not getting very much sun, so that's how much I take. I'm not recommending anything, but that's what I take. Vitamin K2, I take it along with that Vitamin D3. And some zinc picolinate to go ahead and help out my testosterone levels, which I just checked out uh, very recently, and they're not doing too great. So I'll be talking about that in a separate video eventually if you guys want me to. But in any case, guys, uh, we're done for today. Sunday's workout in. Zay, out. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.